So this is a space colony, Ark. Yes. This is where I was created. Mm hmm. 93 years ago. 93, huh. Mm hmm. Well, it looks like not a whole lot has changed. So, mm. quite interesting to see the planet this up close and. or the, from this distance. Yeah. Hmm. Point it is pretty nice, yes. But whenever I finish my task, it'll be a lot more better. Hmm. Well, even though it's from a distance, the view may look nice now, but I do feel like that there is definitely a lot more destruction than than the, than the planet that I'm currently residing in. Seems a bit more understanding as to why you want to destroy it. Hmm. Yes. Resetting everything would be fine. It hmm. would make things better. Everyone would be happier. Hmm. So is anybody, well, is anybody else here on the Ark? Or is it just you? Well, there is one other person. I... I left him here to work because he wanted to be here to work for quite a little while. Mm-hmm. I see. Rifle up. Wait. Hey, Who's man. This? Oh. Doctor. Hi. Who's this? This is a friend. Okay, good. For a moment, I thought you were a... Well, you know what I say about loyalty. Oh, really? Uh... You taught me better than that. I know. Well, I don't simply... know, but you know I am. I think the worst. Uh, well, sim... <laughs> well, we're... well, we're simply friends, Doctor. And plus, I already have someone else, thank you, that I'm loyal to. You made a friend. I'm wow. proud of you. What? I'm proud of you. Oh. Thanks. I... Just... Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Hmm. Well, nice to meet you, too. My name is Lavender the Hedgefox. <laughs> She's my student. I ran hmm. into her in a different dimension. Really? Not, yes. on, not only has he taught me, he also had saved my life. Hmm. How uncharacteristically kind of you. She was from a different dimension. Fair enough. Hmm. I brought her here so she could learn more about me. Mm -hmm. I thought that maybe learning more about me would help her get to understand me better. And also help her friendship grow a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. As well as she'd be able to understand my task a little easier. I thought it'd only be fair since we just reunited not too long ago. Then she invited me to her wedding. It'll only be there to catch up on things. A wedding? Do you need a priest? I'm certified. Oh. Let me talk with my fiancé about it, then, um, I'll pass along the message if, uh, if we would like to go with your services. All right. Hmm. Though, yeah. I do have a better oh. understanding, though, as to why Rifle is doing what he's doing to this world. Quite. Hmm. Well, that and also what they did to Maria. <laughs> right. It may be a beautiful blue orb, but it'll look better molten red. Well. 
before I present it. Oh, well, that's okay. blue, only, red. Only that your daughter is the I'm still planning to make the world the way your daughter saw it, Doctor. Yes. As you may not know, unlike other universes, Maria in this universe was the Doctor's daughter. Oh, that makes sense. I miss her dearly. He brought her to the Ark, so she wouldn't get sick. She didn't have an immune system. Ah, And I also, see. after his wife perished in an accident. It's all because of what happened to G.U.N. and him learning about what happened to Maria is the reason why he found me in the first place. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss, Doctor. Though I'm it's sure, though I'm sure your daughter will be proud once. Well, once Rifle is able to complete his task. Yes, I, I believe she would be. Do this was the fact that you had found me. Bro. Hmm. The doctor is my savior. I see. I was to I was locked inside a gun for five years and tortured. I was burnt alive. I was I was burnt alive, frozen to death. I had many things happen to me as well. Some things that, well, would put most people into a psych ward. Hmm. Well, I've seen things I too. I've had things happen to me that shows that women can take just as much advantage as men on men as men can to women. There's no reason I got rid of some things. I understand. I mean, I've already had seen some things that people would already label me as crazy for. Witnessing, mm. witnessing the destruction of my homeworld, being the lost survivor. Witnessing strangers and friends being killed. Especially one particular person. Saw him impaled on a spike. <sighs> hmm. Well, I guess you and I do have similar experiences in that caliber. Mm-hmm. Well... I was asleep with Maria in our room. And all of a sudden I started to hear gunshots. Oh. We woke up, but the moment we saw them, we heard that. We tried to run as fast as we could, but unfortunately, the capsule could only hold one. She sacrificed herself for me. I still don't know why. So I've taken that opportunity to do what I need to do. It still bugs me that she won't come back. Mm. What happened with me? Well... There was a race going on. My... My boyfriend was one of the competitors. He finished first place per normal. He was about to ask me something until... Until the invasion happened. Invasion? Yes. These creatures from another dimension, all of them, black and red eyes, blood coming out, a lot of them looking disfigured or dark, EXEs, pretty much. I encountered one before, 
they tried to offer me a deal. I don't oh, yeah. think I told you that, Doctor. Oh? I don't think you did. Yeah, this is news to me. Which one? Well, it looked like my ex. Wait! Uh. Uh. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> And she was trying to offer me this large amount of power. I told her I'd think, but honestly, I'm not entirely sure if I even want to accept it. Turn it down, it's a trap. No, no, wait. What? It's a trap. That was a former EXE you met. She goes by the name Devil Rouge. Remember when I told you I'm being targeted? She is one of those that targets me. Huh. That's the Well, I guess I'll just have to turn down her offer, won't I? Just be Quiet. careful. Just be careful around her, all right? <sighs> Trust me, I can handle my own. Still, best you at least I'd be love careful to around her. her. Well, if you do capture her, make sure that you have some really good restraints that will at least keep that those devil powers into. Into restraint, because otherwise, she finds one weakness, she's going to take advantage of it. And she's also very good at manipulation. Well, maybe she's lacking a bit, because uh, apparently if he's going to be thinking about a deal and then saying no, then... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really... <sighs> I don't really have good... I don't have good memories when it comes to those devils. I understand. I would act the same way as somebody was talking about G when around me. Don't worry. If I do capture her, well, I'll tell you what makes them tick. <laughs> uh, torture. Mm. I'll torture her. Mm. Honest, honestly, I may not... I may not be Are a you fan of use a more stronger pressure that you use on the dark lanes. Perhaps. I may, not, I may not be a fan of torture, but when it comes to certain beings, I don't really blame you, so what I could say is feel free to let me know. I would like to watch. <laughs> Trust me, it's fun. <laughs> Especially when they scream. <laughs> no dog. Psych ward. Oh, please. As if any psych ward could contain me. Uh, she, one way or another, she's gonna pay for what she did to Thomas. Hmm. I'm sure she will. Both I'm her and her husband. Quite. Hmm. There is one thing I do trust you with. Hmm? Oh, I do want to show you. This is just so you can keep it safe. Come with me. What's this? This is a remote. I want you to keep it safe and out of the arc. Uh. Alright. What does it do? I don't know if you've noticed this. I don't know if the doctor has noticed this. The people have been invading the Ark and Moby Ball. And if they encounter that remote, that'll be bad for me. That remote's not what I think it is, is it? It's the one that Gerald made in case that got out of hand. I thought I got rid of that thing. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Charles had, Charles had gotten hold of it before, if you remember. Right. I yeah. found it again in the Ark. It was still intact and perfectly fine. It almost seems as if the thing can't even be destroyed. I think Gerald did that purposely. Your grandmother Ugh. was a genius, after all. Quite. Well? 
I will make sure of it so that nobody, I repeat, nobody gets a hold of this remote. Good. Mm. I can trust you with this. Because you are my ally. <laughs> I also know that a lot of people don't see, don't know that me and you have connection. So they won't expect you to have something to stop me. Well, and even at the wedding, especially, like I said, very small guest list, so very few would be able to know our connection, at least for a while. If you want to know what the remote does, I can tell you a brief summary. Go well, on. These red markings on my stripe, these stripes, red markings, they're not for show. They're actually labeled. They show exactly where all of my cybernetics are. Whenever you press that button, they give me a controlled shock. All the cybernetics in my body are for controlled shock in case I get out of hand. I see. If you press the button, for how long you press it, it could be game over. Oh my gosh. Quite. Well, it's definitely like all the more reason to keep the remote away from everyone. Yeah. It only affects me, and no matter the radius I'm at, the doctor was very genius when it came to that. I hate to admit it, but Grandfather was definitely smarter than me. Hmm. He was. The bastard. No offense, doctor, but he was just a little bit. Yes. You're more experienced when it comes to the magic. Quite. The doctor is more experienced with it, you two. Biological. Maybe I have. Sure to... what? Hmm? Maybe if I had to spend those years. Maybe I would. Maybe... Yeah. Words. Maybe if I hadn't spent those years training to be a sorcerer, I might have. I might not. I might have. Yeah, I might have figured out how to get rid of those, get rid of the things that can, that shock you uh, by now. Yes, but unfortunately, we'll have to live with it now. <laughs> yes. Nobody knows about its existence except Charles, you, me, Noella, and now. Quiet. Not even G.U.A. is aware of the remote. Well, that's good. Because there's no survivors or files on it anymore to have any sort of remembrance. <laughs> I keep you trusted with the remote. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone know that. They won't know a thing. Promise. Because I can't afford anybody to stop me. Mm -hmm. so, time. What? so, one question that I'm very curious about. I heard from someone by the name of Sharina. Apparently she has something that you are searching for. Do you mind explaining what it is? She is the Dawn Crystal. The last thing I need. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely intent on following her. But, I know that she's another version of me. I'm not exactly stupid at all. We are. Mm. We're very stubborn and we we'll give up everything. Especially if we feel like it's a purpose for somebody else. Mm. So, I'm waiting until the right moment. Just to strike her quickly. It wouldn't be a fight to kill her, but just to, just to fight to weaken her so I can take my crystal and be on my way. Well. If however, if however I get the crystal before you do, I'll make sure that it, it that it's handed over to you. That's a good. I'd appreciate that. Hmm. It's the last thing that's keeping me from doing what I need to do. Quit. If it wasn't for that, then I probably wouldn't have been so intent on her. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Hmm. 
Mm. Well, keep them on the side. I will. It will be time. I will allow you to use that remote. Because if I do get out of here, if I do go power crazy and do start to try and put another dimension, if I do, if I don't perish and instead I go insane, that's when I want you to use it. I understand. It won't kill me. It'll just harm me and snap me back to normal. The only time the remote will ever kill me is if somebody's holding it for quite a few minutes. But just keep it safe. I will. The doctor and I are planning on a way to destroy it. But for now, I want you to protect it. Mm -hmm. Quite. Don't worry. As soon as you guys find a way to destroy it, make sure you let me know. Of course. Otherwise, the remote remains with me. Hmm. So, is there any information you'd like to give my new friend? <laughs> okay. Well, then, other well, other than bragging about my, not really. <laughs> mm. Mm. Alright then. I guess I can show you the files. That'd be a good idea. What? Let's go and do that. Alright. Rifle, are you okay? No, I'm an emotional bastard. No, there, there, son. Oh, you never show me this emotion. <laughs> There's no way I know that you could be either. emotional. I'm not used to it either. <laughs> there, there, son. I've always been proud of you. Uh, <laughs> and that's when Rifle started to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I did Honestly, I didn't know he could cry. I thought he lost his tear glands. <laughs> yeah, I thought. Yeah, I thought so too. Wait a minute! Didn't you say that you sacrificed all your organs? Almost all of them. Yeah. What did you not sacrifice? My skin, in my, in my, in my muscles, in my eyes. Uh, makes I sense. Makes sense. And my lungs. I still have my lungs. Okay. No mask. Literally just floating inside my body. I'm not gonna ask, I'm not gonna ask. It might be a little too much detail and too gory for the audiences to know. Oh, the rest of the inside of my body is just black matter. I don't even have blood. Ah. Bro, it doesn't. Well, makes it, it very difficult for, makes well, it very difficult for the shackles. Because it's difficult, it difficult for the what? difficult for what? It makes it very difficult for his yearly checkups. Oh, hey. checkups. Okay. I thought you said shackups. I'm like, wait, My what? My bio-organ doesn't need to be updated. <laughs> it's been <laughs> only four years. It doesn't need to be updated. The model is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, shall we get started? The planet is very interesting to see. Oh, pause for a moment. Pause. Hang on. Sorry. Oh. Yes? Be there in a minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> Apparently my brother knocked on my door saying it was dinner. I'm like, I ain't recording. <laughs> all right. <That's> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. It's